So today we have a mini outdoor workout for you all. And it's just 10 minutes long and just requires a little bit of resistance. We did the workout itself for our two small circuits, each consisting of three exercises. Each of the exercises will be doing 20 seconds max reps. You will take a 10 second recovery between exercises one and two. After exercise three, you will take a full 30 seconds. You will then repeat the circuit that you run for three full rounds. You've got two circuits to complete. I'm going to take you through each of the exercises for the circuits that you're going to do. So let's crack on and get you into our first exercise. So exercise number one is a plate Russian twist. So all you're doing is you're going to sit down on the floor. We're going to grip the plate nice and tight. Option one, we can pop our feet down if you want, placing the heels nice and gently on the floor. Option two, we bring the feet up the floor. Now you're looking to create that V at the hips, through to the knees and into the chest. All we're doing from there is we're going to twist to one side, pop the plate down and then twist to the other side. Trying to keep tension in the core, aiming to keep your feet as still as you can. If you are in this position, what you might need to increase the difficulty on the core is your back. Keeping your chest lifted, my chin is not touching my chest, it's still nice and neutral and it's still twisting. If you are here, what you want to make sure of is if you do lean back, that you don't start to twist too much through the spine. Keeping a good tension on the core is key to this workout and particularly this exercise. So you'll do 20 seconds, as many reps as you can do, and then you'll take a 10 second recovery on the one, two, exercise number two. So exercise number two, we are going to remain on the floor for this one. We are doing a plate overhead crunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down, taking the plate directly behind the head, gripping the plate nice and securely. My arms are locked out. From here, I'm coming to a regular crunch. So I'm coming up and down, keeping my arms locked out, crunching whilst the plate remains above the head. Now, what you want to bear in mind here is that your bar starts to really activate this top part of the foot. So you want to keep this nice neutral position of the shoulders and the hips and keeping our arms back, chin stays off the chest and I'm looking towards the ceiling throughout and it's just the top of the core that is coming up in that crunch. Making sure that the weight that left in that one is safe or efficiently working my core muscles. 20 seconds, as many reps as you can, and then take 10 second rest and move on to exercise number three. So exercise number three in circuit one is a plate drag through. So all we're gonna do is we're coming into a plank position. So my hands are underneath my shoulders, my feet are the same width as my shoulders and where my hands are. All I'm gonna do is take my right hand through, drag the plate across and replace my hand. I'm then going to repeat, opposite side, making sure that I'm stabilizing my hips through my core. 20 seconds, I'm going to pull the plate through as many times as I can without rocking my spine position as well as my hips. Once you've done the 20 seconds, you will take a 30 second recovery on this before you will then hit that exercise one again and back to the top of the circuit. So exercise number one in circuit two is a dead bug. So all you're going to do on this one, you're going to lie down for me. We're going to bring our feet up, knees at a 90 degree bend, our feet are flexed, my hands are coming up also. All I'm going to do from here, I'm extending my right hand and my left leg, making sure I'm exercising good control and making sure that I'm bracing the abs, keeping the spine completely flat, and every part of that back is in contact with the floor throughout. We don't lift the chest at all, we keep it nice and steady. 20 seconds, as many of these as you can do with really good defined control and smooth movement. And that is exercise one in circuit two. You will take a 10 second recovery and then move on to exercise two within this circuit. So exercise number two in circuit two of the workout is a crucifix. So all we're going to do, again, I'm going to be on the floor, and again, I'm going to be through the body weight. So all I'm going to do here is, I'm in a dish position like so. But all I'm going to do is take hands in to the side. Now, this is where the movement begins. All I'm going to do is bring everything in, and then everything comes back out. 
maintaining that slight curve and core contraction throughout. So bring it in and then out. Every time you're aiming to come really close to the floor to really test those core muscles. Each time we come out, we breathe and then we come right back in. For 20 seconds, you're gonna get as many reps as you can, maintaining that good strong position, control, keeping the chin off the chest, but keeping the core engaged throughout. You will take 10 seconds rest after this one, and then move into exercise number three of this circuit. Okay, so final movement within circuit two of this workout is a plank knee to elbow. So there's a couple of options on this one, and we're gonna show you both. So what you've got here is we're gonna come into the plank position, hands nice and parallel to the shoulders and the feet. All I'm doing is opposite hand to opposite knee. So I'm coming in and across, in and across. Aiming to move and transition the weight without letting the core sink or rock from side to side. We're keeping it nice and strong, nice and stable throughout. That is option number one. Option two, we stick single side. So all you're going to do here, same position, and all I'm doing is take it into oblique crunches. Twisting, lifting, and maintaining good form throughout. Driving that oblique into that working zone within this exercise. 20 seconds, as many reps as you can get on either option that you are most comfortable with. And then we'll take a 30 second recovery before repeating that circuit three times all together. And that is your 10 minute mini app workout for the day done. Hopefully you've had a great workout, really felt that core working throughout and feel better for doing it. So I look forward to training with you again real soon.